Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome along to episode number 6 of my YouTube video game series, Football Manager 2020. It's the return of Kaiser Schlout and I'm Tony, as you know. I hope you're enjoying the videos so far. I'm really enjoying making the content. Um, we are starting to, to get a few more views now, which is fantastic. So if you're liking those videos, give them a thumbs up, hit the like button. If you're subscribed to the channel, I appreciate that you've done that. If you haven't subscribed, please do get subscribed. Uh, a big shout out must go as well uh, in this episode to the guys at the 5 Star Potential Podcast for having me on last week. Really, really enjoyed chatting with them. Uh, they're awesome people, so do go follow all their stuff. Uh, they stream live on Twitch. They're on YouTube. They're out on Twitter as well. Uh, I'll put the hashtag below and all the uh, the links and stuff as well in the comments. Uh, they're really, really supportive of the community. And, and like I say, I genuinely appreciate them, them getting me on uh, to sort of plug the channel. Because um, basically, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> As I say, I've never done content before. I'm quite getting into this save. And that, you know what? I'm actually falling a little bit in love with Kaiser Schlauten. Um The season's going that well. We're past the January transfer window now. I'm fully on board. And I'm like, I, I basically, I just need to keep going. Um, the more games we play, the more I'm enjoying this. Uh, there's two games to enjoy in this uh, episode. So, like I say, I do appreciate everyone watching. I hope you're enjoying it all. Um, so, we'll play the little intro. Then we end the content. So sit back, enjoy the show, and then of course we'll see you at the end uh, to remind you to subscribe to the channel. So enjoy. This is episode six, and first of all, before we go further, slight bit of disclosure for you. These are not the two games I was initially hoping to show you for episode six. The plan was supposed to be to show you Rostock and uh, Shemnitz, which were our previous two games uh, before this one. Unfortunately, they were both nil-nil draws, so they were quite dull. Uh, so we've decided to not bother uh, showing those. Um, and the, the bit, quite frankly, we were ready for a record number of wins as well. So I had it all set up, ready to go, thinking this is going to be brilliant. We've won 18 games so far. Uh, God, this is going to be fantastic. We're going to take Rostock, who are near the bottom. Um, surely we could sort of like have a bit of a, a, a retribution on them for being uh, the only team to beat us so far in the season. Nope, drew nil-nil. Uh, Shemnitz thought, right, fine, we're going to go for away from home. We'll get a result. Nope, drew nil-nil. So... No good, to be honest, but look at the league table. We are flying. We are currently 11 points clear, 24 games played. We've closed the January transfer window, and I think, like, I don't want to say too much, but I'm quietly confident that we're going about business the right way. Now, obviously, we were expected to challenge for the playoffs. That was pretty much the plan, and I'm going to say, touch wood, that that's all, uh, all on target. Uh, as I say, transfer windows closed. Didn't do much business in January because we didn't really need to. Um, and because, uh, to be honest, everyone's sort of playing quite well. We've not got a lot of money. So I didn't think it was worth um, trying to splash out and sort of breaking that sort of harmony with we've got the squad and that sort of thing. So basically what I tried to do was look more um, at, at, at the youth system because we've got loads and loads of players in Germany. Your squad's about 99 players big. Uh, so I brought a couple of guys up just to have a look at, see what they're like. Um, this is uh, Tobias Hochrandner, um, centre half who who may or may not turn out to be okay. So give him a bit of sort of experience in around the squad. Uh, Dylan Quater, again a defensive midfielder, can play on out wide if needs be. Um, and you know just there's just more bodies, more bodies is what I'm looking at. Thinking, don't need to spend the money, just get more players in and around the squad in case we get injuries. Here's Yanis Held, uh, fullback, because because uh, Shad's played really really well, but again needs someone just in the background, you know, in case he uh, in case he picks up an injury or something and just keep him on his toes a little bit. So that's sort of where I'm at. Um, the Iceman's uh, banging goals left, right, and centre. Uh, Andrew Bjarnason, he's obviously doing really well. Our three in midfield uh, of, of, of Backman, Bergman, and Chifke, uh, the three Musketeers. I'm starting to call them at the minute. They're just pulling the strings. Uh, and basically, uh, like everything goes through them. They're 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 my equivalent of Xabi, Iniesta, and Busquets. So again, I'm not wanting to overhype them too much. Uh, but we're getting to the games now. We've got uh, we're at home to to Munster. Uh, Munster poor form. Uh, we are in decent form. You know, we win games, of course, apart from the two uh, nil nil draws there, which weren't ideal. But you know, 
they're they're better than losing games, I suppose. And and ultimately, we're not conceding goals, which, as we've said time and time again in these episodes, the expectation was our defence was terrible. So the less goals we concede, the better is essentially where we're at. I do obviously have to start keeping a little bit of thinking, though, for next year, going, well, you know, are the players we've got good enough to progress to, to Bundesliga 2? And if they are, fantastic. If they're not, then obviously I need to start thinking about bringing other players in because, I mean, goalkeeper-wise, we're, we're not really getting challenged a great deal. So I can't be 100% sure that my goalkeeper is going to be good enough if we go up. And you know what? We might not go up, but it's always got to be in the back of your head, hasn't it? Just in case. So uh, we'll see how we get on. Um, I'm going to give a debut to uh, one of the young lads that we spoke about uh, briefly there. This is this is Yanis Held. Uh, we're going to stick him in at right back, uh, see how he gets on. Um, just to give Shad a bit of a rest, I think, because uh, it's... Uh, oh, it's snowing. It's snowing. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? Um, oh, that's that's just changed the changed the uh, the whole dynamic of the game right now. I've gone from the last two games, 2 nil nil draws, going, oh, God, here we go again. Uh, we need to grind something out. But now I'm like, ah, oh, this is lovely. We're going to go and play in the snow. And um, I'm going to remain with ticker tacker football because that's that's probably the the right plan um to try and just just get that going around yeah there we go look at lovely blue lines and an orange football oh there's something quite magical about this isn't it and uh i'm not wanting to sort of over over egg the pudding here but yeah that that's nice that's nice just you get too much just general green on on, on footy manager whereas a bit of snow just makes things a little bit different, I think. Um, and again, it reminds you that we're we're definitely working in, in the winter months here. Um, Ambrosia seems to have picked up a bit of a knock, which isn't ideal. Um, he's obviously he's still playing brilliantly, by the way, uh, having come in on loan. Um, a bit of a rock, I think. Him and Krause are creating quite a partnership there. So um, so yeah, so that's partly the reason that we didn't look to bring anyone else in in January, uh, really. And uh, oh, hang on, hell, he's been picked off and no I did I think Hyde's just just been caught off a um, little bit of an experience there I think positioning slightly out but you know he'll uh, he'll he'll improve he'll improve that is my thinking so um, thankfully uh, what we've worked out is that a lot of the strikers in this division aren't particularly good so when uh, when one-on-one situations occur nine times out of ten we're not conceding um which is a bit of a let off, but I think that if we do get promoted, then it's going to really add. Uh, oh, oh, that's not good. I would say we're going to try and play tick attack of football, but we're playing ourselves into a little bit of trouble, to be honest. Uh, and a decent little save there by 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 Spafich. Uh, Safish, um, the corners come in, and we've managed to get it away. Um, can we get away? Yes, we're just going to hoof that away. That's that's the right way to play in this conditions. Just put your foot through it, and. You know, just if you're kicking the ball and a bit of snow comes up and takes out another opponent, that's that's what you want. Um, we're going to whip a free kick in here. And he's got up to the header and it's 1-0. One 1-0. Nil. One nil. Stefan Ambrosius, um, as I said, I, I said he's, he's, he's done really, really well since since, he, uh, since he's come in on loan. Um, lovely ball in. Keeper com- keepers come for it. And you know what? If you come for it, you've got to get it. And that's awful goalkeeping. But fair play for Ambrosius. Keeps his eye on it. Doesn't get distracted and just nods it into the goal uh, and puts us 1-0 up so that's fine that that works out nicely for us um, I think you know it's been quite a quiet game to be honest but that should be just enough to sort of keep us a bit uh, sort of get the get the morale going again um, you know because that's what it's all about isn't it you know it's just about keeping the uh, keeping the momentum that's a lovely ball lovely ball it puts it in the back post and Hemline has made it too. And that's his ninth goal of the season now. Hercher found the space that Nanzik would usually find if he was playing. Um, but that's a lovely little reverse pass there, isn't it? Just delightful. And then he tees it up with the back post. And that's a that's a lovely little volley, mind, isn't it? Like you wouldn't you know, fair play. Fair play for Hemline. That's a... Uh, a cracking, cracking sort of end to the half there. Um, going with nil nil, and then getting a couple of goals towards the back end of the uh, the half there. Thirty four minutes, 30, 45 minutes. Yeah, 
that's fine. That that changes everything now. Um, in terms of in my dressing room and presumably in their dressing room as well, um, because yeah, they were obviously thinking maybe fifteen minutes to go, ten minutes to the half to go. Going, oh, we're doing all right here, and then all of a sudden they're two 0 down. So they're probably a bit a bit knocked, and we're probably got a slightly easier conversation in the dressing room at half time. So um, that's that's exactly what we're after. And he's picked that hurt you. I know we're on the counter attack now. God, God, oh, just needed to be a bit more, a bit more aggressive, I think, and just try and just better finishing. You know, it's that's what it's all about, isn't it? Just better finishing. Um, it's not, it's not woeful, but and he's made the goalkeeper work for it, but it's not really, uh, it's not really challenging him, I suppose. Um, Let's. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm confident enough. So let's have a, a little look at, at this this Quater, uh guy and bring him on for Chifki. I think just to rest him up a little bit, because um, I suppose two 0 up. You know, we're probably not really going to get into too much trouble. That's going to be um, th- that's going to sort of do us a bit of an issue. So let's get him on there. Let's have a little look at him. And I think Kraus has got a book in. So. Let's also try out uh, this guy as well and see if he's any good. Give him a bit of a a bit of a run. So that's all three youngsters that we brought into the first team: Hock, Radner, um, Helt, and uh, and Quater. Uh, we've given them all a bit of a bit of first team exposure. Um, see see how they learn. You know, that's all you gotta do. Give them that game time. Lovely and just not hitting the target. Not hitting the target. That was brilliantly played out from the back, though, but it's a bit of a shame. Um, and Splavis is back. Spalvis. Spalavis. Spalvis. Can't even pronounce my own players' names. Spalvis is back after multiple long term injuries. Um, so we'll have a little look at him. Rest the ice man up. There's no need to really be uh, be rushing him about here, is there? Um, oh, Pick's picked up a bit of a knock. Well, that's not ideal. Especially when I've used all three subs. So hopefully you can just run that one off. And, oh, that's a bit of a long ball at the top. And nice save. Nice save. Um, I know we're saying not much about goalkeepers in this division, but that's a decent stop, isn't it? Just need to see this game out now. 93rd minute. Lovely. Just keep your foot on the ball. Nothing to do. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on. Awful. Awful. So, robbed. Bergman's robbed on the halfway line. And then my two centre-halves are stood that statuesque that I'm half expecting a couple of races to be protecting them. And I mean, fair play to, to your man for a monster. He's just picked the ball up and he's just gone for it. And he's just slotted it in. But, oh, that's a poor goal. Poor goal to concede, isn't it? Oh, let's put a bit of a dampener on that, to be honest. I was quite... I thought 2-0, we were doing pretty well. Good performance. And then all of a sudden, 2-1. It's not... It's not as great, is it? Um... And it's not like we've been beaten by a bit of skill there either. Then they've they've earned the goal. They've just kind of we've we've given them it, which is a uh, it's poor. Oh, that's not though. That's not that's a bit of quality right there, isn't it? Oh, Bergman, pick that one out. There. Oh, do we not even get a replay of that? That's a bit on. Oh, that was a wonderful free kick. Beautiful, just pinged it. Straight in, in off the inside, didn't even hit the inside of the post, just whipped it straight in, 3-1, that'll do, there you go, fine, All right. not even bothered now, forget that that goal that we gave away, um, 3-1, lovely result, gets us back on track now, um, and, and, and gets the, the, the momentum going um, after a couple of nil-nil performances, really happy with, with that, I guess, um, and it's now just a case of, of keeping that going, because... Uh, if we can get a good result here against Colm, um, who again aren't really playing particularly well um, down at mid-table. And I think if we can get another result, that will put us, what's that now? That'll be um, 14 points clear. So 
could potentially look to go 17 clear if Magdeburg don't win. Um, although it is pretty tight though, Magdeburg, Würzburg and, and Erdingen um, all sort of in a, the three points separating those three clubs and then we're obviously way out ahead doing our thing. So, you know, if we can just keep getting the, these results then, you know, I think we're going to be alright and I think we're going to sort of see ourselves over the line but you, you can't just, you can't sort of, you can't really predict it can you? Because you, you know... Like we've seen it before in football, you know, you get a big lead and you maybe get a little bit too complacent and and it backfires. And I don't want that with this team, to be honest. I, I kind of want this um, professional attitude throughout the throughout, throughout the uh, throughout the, the the players, and hopefully they'll they'll pick up on it. Um, pick uh, obviously, as you saw, got injured in the last game, so we're going to maybe bring on uh, bring uh, John Jic, who's one of the under twenty threes, give him a bit of a run out. Um, other than that, we'll we'll stick with 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 the side we had. So health gets another game at right back, um, and and we'll just sort of see how we get on. Uh, Colin there with a traditional flat four four two. Um, no snow today. We we're we back out to uh, to some nice normal weather. Um, I say it's Colin. Obviously, we're playing in Cologne, so I don't know whether this is how we pronounce Cologne or whether this is Colm. Um but, you know, we're, we're going to see how we get on. A little bit of drizzle in the air. Uh, we're just doing basic weather reporting at this point. We've had snow. We've got a little bit of light drizzle. Um, so, if anything, it's making me feel quite at home. Originally being from the northeast. Bit of snow, bit of drizzle. Happy enough with that. So, let's get back to the game and start things off. Um, one thing that's potentially interesting to note there, as I saw in the lineup. Now, we'll wait until the ball comes down the other end of the pitch. It looks a lot like my goalkeeper has ditched his traditional fluorescent yellow um, outfit and has gone for green shirt and red shorts. So he's decided to dress up like, I suppose, a like a cheap Incredible Hulk, really. Um, which is fine, you know, if that's your thing. But it seems an odd choice. Maybe he's a, maybe he's a bit more, I don't know. I'd have just stuck with the with the yellow personally, but never mind. Uh, Chifke with the ball in, uh, headed away. Bergman is going to pick up the ball at the edge of the box. Kraus now just recycling the ball, whole possession as you do. Um, we're still uh, we're working on set plays in uh, in um, in training. There he is. Look at that red and green. Uh, red and green should never be seen without a colour in between. That's what they say. Um, so we're working on set plays uh, in the training uh, ground, and as you can see, they're not really. Um, doing much now. That's a back. Oh, there, there you go. There's Hemline again at the back post. Ten goals now for Hemline. Ten from the captain. Just, I mean, nice ball again. Just ticker tacker passing it around. Hercher gets in a bit of space, puts it up to the back stick. And you know what? I mean, keeper's got to do better, and he? he's just flapped at that. Um, but Hemline again. He's he's a big fan of just ghosting in at the back post, isn't he? Gets up, lots of headers, lots of headers he's scored so far. Uh, got that volley last week as well. So, pretty decent, pretty decent. Give us a nice start, 12 minutes in, already a goal up. Here comes Hercher now. He's going to just push on and drive forward. Two players in front of him, but he's not that bothered about that. We're going to move it around. Here's Ambrosius, picks it up. Uh, Bergman, Bergman, Chifke. To Bjarnason Bergman, nice ball to Hiles. Oh, and a good tackle, good tackle that as well. Um, nice to see him getting forward as well. Enough confidence from the youngster. Uh, Chifchi puts the ball in, headed away. Now it's uh, Bergman back to Chifchi, and it's headed in, and it's just over the top. Um, so a bit of a let off there for uh, for Colm. Um Kevin Kraus, meanwhile, picks up his tenth yellow card of the season. That's what we want to see from your centre halves. Guys going in right at it. Um, 10 bookings already. I think we've only played about 25 games. So he's uh, he's getting a book in every other match, which is quite quite impressive, given the fact that, we, as I say, we don't concede a lot of goals. So what he's getting the bookings for, I've got no idea. Um, angry, angry man. Um, but that's a lovely ball in. And, oh, we weren't expecting that. Um, Said... Hajrovic um, getting up there and who's not mar who's not marking him? Is it? Oh, I can't really see who's not marking him actually. 
could be any a, a one of any number of players not deciding to challenge him there. Um, that's disappointing, to be honest. But here's Chifke, the good ball there. That's more like it. Lovely, lovely goal from the Iceman. Um, I've said, you know, I said we, that we were working on set players and it is actually working. I said it wasn't working, but it is. Look at that. That just powers that in. He's he's going to take the centre half out as well when he goes up for that one. Fair play, God, cracking work from from Bjarnason. Um puts us two one up. Nice ball out wide. Here's Hurtcher again in loads of space, and he's just pinged it. Oh, just just tease it up. It's nice, isn't it? Nice little just uh, dink up there. So here's Bjarnason, and it's away. Helt picks the ball. Shifky. Here's. Backman, nice ball again to Hercher, pulls it back. Here's Backman, Chief Chief Backman, just by it now time, keeping possession. Lovely little slip slide pass, and that's John Jitch. Ooh, that would have been interesting, him getting on the score sheet, wouldn't it? It would have done his confidence the world a good. But alas, it was not to be. But you know, nice, nice statement of intent there. Um, so just about to see this first half out now. Pretty happy with that. 10 shots to four, 74% possession. Playing them off the park, really. Um, it's just it's just what we sort of were hoping for. I don't, I don't want to say it's what we expect, but it's definitely what we were hoping for. Um, getting a good result and, uh, and just sort of, you know, keeping the football and, and, and really sort of taking the game to, to the opposition. Um, and, uh, and and that's that's what it's all about, you know. That's we want to exert dominance. If we want to go up, that's what we've got to do. Got to all be about about that dominance, you know. So here's Bergman, lovely ball out to her Hercher, who's having a cracking game actually on, on uh, at left back, isn't he? So there's Hercher back to John Jitch. John Jitch, lovely little ball inside for Bergman, pulls it back to Chivchi. Oh, that was close. That was very close, wasn't it? That was just whistled past the post. Um, yeah, I think Hurch is playing really well uh, at left back there. He's going to put a bit of pressure on Nanzik, mind. I mean, I know Nanzik's on loan, so we'll have to see what happens when he comes back fit. There's Chifchi again, and that's uh, that's that's not as good as the first effort, sadly. Um, but yeah, no, Hurch is putting a bit of pressure on Nanzik, I think. So we'll see what happens when he comes back fit. Um, this is what because this is what it's about, isn't it? Play for your positions, play for your shirts. Uh, nice ball inside, and it's blocked there. There's Chifchi again, and it's lovely ball out. Here's Hercher again. Good tackle, good tackle. You've got to time that right, otherwise that's a penalty, isn't it? Throw in now for Hercher. Nicely touched down. Good ball to the back post, and oh, just managed to get it away. I think that was Hemline again. Um, just ghosting at the back. Uh, and here comes Hercher. Good ball in. And again, it's off the post. Oh, that's nearly three. Twice. Um, lovely, lovely play down the wing. Um, and I think, uh, again, confident enough so far. So let's let's give Spalvis a bit of a run out, try and test uh, some of his fitness, get him back up to, uh, to where he needs to be. Um, and give uh, give the Iceman a bit of a rest. Lovely ball out. Here's Spalvis. Holds it up well. Chifchi. Bergman. Backman. As I say, I love these three in midfield. This Bergman, Backman, Chifchi. Just just brilliant. Like in this division, there there's it seems to be nobody better than these three. Just running the game. And oh see ya. That's a lovely bit of skill from Hercher, isn't it? And he cuts it back and we've nearly made it three. Uh, that would have been a lovely goal. Um, Hurch is having a wonderful time down the left there. He's uh, he's just he's got the life of this right back, uh, Lang. Um, so I think Held will bring him off. We'll we'll put Shad back on. Um, he's done alright actually. This this uh, this Yanis Held since he's come in, um, made a good account of himself. So we'll consider him for for future football. 
Um, nice little ball that is. Spalvis is going to whip it in, and it's headed, and it's come back down to Hamline, and he's just somehow seen the goalkeeper make a save. Um, they're, they're not learning, are they? And it's headed away, and here's Backman. Pulls it to Chiff Cheek. Are we going to keep a hold of the ball? Just tees it up, and again, straight at the goalkeeper. Pressure's on it. 17 shots now. We're uh, we're, def we're definitely turning that screw. Definitely turning the screw. Um, three points. I th I, part of me still thinks we need another goal. Um, just based off what happened last week when we were coasting and then conceded out of nowhere. So we've already conceded one. We can't concede another one. Otherwise, that's points dropped. Um, whereas this, if we can get a third, then... Just see us over the line, doesn't it? And it's tipped. Is he tipped it? No, it's just gone over the top there. That's a, that's a shame. Not a bad effort, though. Not a bad effort. You know. Just into injury time now. And, yeah, I think we're probably happy enough with this now. 2-1. You're taking it at the start of the game. If someone had said, right, 2-1, you can have it right now. Yeah, cool. Put it in the, uh, put it in the spreadsheet. Um, and we'll have it but I suppose when you've had about sort of 17, 18 shots you maybe want a, more than a second goal but it's just being greedy isn't it you know 20 shots to 6 8 on target 75% possession 2-1 3 points in the bag the Kaiser Schlauten go marching on I'm very yeah this is exactly what I want just a good, steady victory. I mean, you look around the other teams. Well, Würzburg have dropped points. That's big. Magdeburg have drawn. And that's actually opened up an extra bit, hasn't it? So we are pretty much on the way up, I think, or at least in the playoffs. I'm very, very confident. Now, what I need to do now is look at the fixture list. I think we, this could all be wrapped up by about April. So... We, I, I don't want to say that there'll be games in March. There might be games in March, but I think April is going to be the, the decider. So we'll play. We'll definitely be back for, for Magdeburg uh, and Meppen um, because we've already seen Haller and we've already seen Bayern Munich too. So let's hope that nothing's decided by April. If it is, then obviously we'll already have those games and we'll show them anyway. But I'm kind of hoping that come April, the Magdeburg game... Uh, will be when we're going to come back and we should hopefully be about to get promoted. That's the plan. Um, so what we'll do, we'll play those games offline. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Uh, do subscribe to the channel as well, please. Really, really appreciate people who've done that already. Uh, spread it far and wide. Uh, and as I say, we'll see you uh, next week with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, enjoy the, enjoy uh, your week and we'll see you guys soon.